guys. Welcome to Home Sweet Home Ocala. My name is Eladi Fonseca and with me is Allie Pena. We are both with Great Expectations Realty and we wanted to introduce ourselves a little bit and tell you what our podcast and our videos are going to be about. So this is Home Sweet Home Ocala and of course we're going to be speaking about Ocala and Marion County and our jobs because we're both real estate agents and property managers. And boy, darn, our <laughs> jobs keep us busy. Yeah. So, believe it or not, um, Ocala is still booming. It's great. I, it's the most stable place. I absolutely love it here. I moved up here just uh, recently, two years ago. And you've been here pretty much for such a long time. <laughs> I've been here since 1995. <laughs> so, trust me, I know Ocala. I've seen the growth. You this are, is phenomenal. You are an expert, and I swear everybody knows a lot. Yes. Everywhere I go, people know a lot. <laughs> it's a good thing, though. It is. It might be. Well, I mean, oh, everything no. is positive, so. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's positive, it's negative, be like, I don't remember her. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody else in the whole state of Florida that has my name. That's a good point. I don't think anybody in the whole U.S. has my name. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's Aladi and it's spelled like E-Lady. E-L-A-D-Y. <laughs> I don't think there's anybody else with my name. So, if if you come across somebody that says, I know Aladi, oh, yeah, I do. Too. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. most likely the one person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, our um, our um the reason why we wanted to do these podcasts and these videos is to keep our people informed. We want to keep you informed what's going on in Ocala, all the beautiful things you can do in Ocala. But again, we wanted to take our first um, podcast and kind of introduce ourselves, tell you how we got into the real estate business. Get to know us before you get to know our homes, because we're going to be doing different episodes on what's going on in Ocala, um, different things you could do, the job market, um, of course, our jobs, real estate and rental markets, um, but pretty much everything else, too, that classifies your whole life right so for me i'll start out do i want to introduce myself first or you no, go ahead you want me to go first <laughs> okay so again my name is eladi fonseca i've been in ocala since 1995 i was born in puerto rico but i was raised in the bronx new york um we came here in 95 i didn't have a choice i was 13 years old <laughs> so it, it wasn't like i want to move from the city to Ocala. What to the middle of nowhere. To the middle of nowhere, to Jumanji, to Tarzan. I mean, that's how bad it was in 95. Yeah, there was no houses. There was, there was no, nothing. There was nothing. There was nothing. No. Um, People so, still think that there's nothing. Oh, there is. <laughs> Listen, when we actually get out there and we start doing these videos, they're going to actually see. Now I'm kind of wishing that we had more pictures and more videos of what this was like in 95. Oh, gosh. I can't even <sighs> imagine. I mean, I, I might have some birthday pictures and stuff where all you can see is trees. Oh, you got to show it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, what again, our plan is to kind of fill you guys in in Ocala, everything that's going on, how the growth is, how the real estate market is, and, and all of You got to talk it. about your first house, too. How was that? Oh, my first house. Oh, Lord. <laughs> when you were 13. <sighs> so, my famous story. I know Ali's talking about the cow already. You <laughs> jump right into the cow. I love the cow. You love okay, the cow. Okay, every so time that, I, that, every time I see something cow related, I buy it for a lot. You do. I have earrings. I have a, a folder. Um, Andrea, which is our broker, she, she bought me pens. cow pens. Um, she got me cow slippers. Oh have you seen them? No, I they are the softest. Slippers. They are the best. I'm gonna oh bring them God, in. So cute. Um, so everything is cow because I did a radio station in mm -hmm. Gainesville, and it was in Spanish. And they asked me about my experience, my first ever experience in Ocala. So as a 13-year-old, first of all, it was like, whoa, where are we? Where's the bus? How am I going to get to school? Where's the train? My mom was like, that yellow thing? I'm like, that yellow thing is, what, what is that? It's a school bus. That's what's going to take us to school? I was like, we were used to the train and the public bus. Yeah. And I'm like, we can't stop at the bakery on the way and get stuff. No, none of that. I mean, it was what bakery? It was horrible. <laughs> exactly. In, in 95, exactly. What bakery? So <laughs> when we first get here, my mom, her, and I tell the story full, obviously. So my mom learned her English in New York. Yeah. So you already know. It's not even a Spanish accent. It's not. It's, what do you call it? Uh, uh, it was hood. New Eurekan or something? New Eurekan. New Eurekan. It was New Eurekan. I mean, it was thick. It was strong. <laughs> okay. And it was, let's be real, 95. Different Ocala time. was not multi-generational like it is now. Like multi, like different. Yeah. Of different, different cultures. cultures. Yeah. It now was, you kind of see everything. Everyone. Now you it's see amazing. it all. Yes. Now you see it all. So it was hard for her to get a job. 
So my dad had to go back up to New York to provide for the family because he worked no. with the union. So one night we go to my grandma's to watch TV. <laughs> On our way home, this is like 9, 10 o'clock at night. Pitch black again. Streets didn't even have light posts. There were like three houses only there. Yeah, there was two. There was two <laughs> there on was our two. street. Okay. No light posts. I'm talking about like your headlights was what lit up the whole road. Like yeah. they didn't even have the little lines on the ground, you know, that light up. Nothing. Yeah. Okay, it was just pitch it was black. Just, it was a dirt road or was it like cement? No, it was It was a paved road. Okay, it's a paved They were okay. all paved roads. <laughs> but you're but traveling to Jamanji. Yeah. Like it was all trees behind my house. Like yeah. that's all it was. So we're on our way home. The street is blocked off. And we're like, hmm. Okay. And I'm talking about yellow caution tape. Like, do not cross. I'm talking about police officers. Which, listen, as a 13-year-old, you don't complain when you see them police officers. Yeah. Lord Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're you doing know something bad's going on. Yeah. Well, you think they're going... But I was talking about, like, police officers looking good. Oh. But, yeah. So, Girl. we weren't complaining at first. <laughs> but we're like, what is up with all these police officers? We look up, they got helicopters going. And we're like, oh, my God. We're going to die. Like... <laughs> Nothing ever happened to us in New York. Like, why did you bring us here? Like, we and I mean, it was like, we're it was like a scary movie. It was like Jeepers Creepers on steroids oh, or something, okay? And we were like, oh my God, where are we? What are we doing? The police officer tells my mom, you live on this road? She goes, yeah, the only other house on the left. <laughs> on the right, actually. On the right. Okay, go lock yourselves in. Mm -hmm. Okay, easier said than done, right? <laughs> um, so it's my mom. My sister was 14. I was 13. And my brother was like, four or five years old Aww. my brother's like mommy we're gonna die <laughs> so we all start crying and we're like we hate this here please take us back to the city <laughs> we all sleep with her that night in the bedroom terrified we were terrified we were gonna die <laughs> okay we were gonna die like that was she brought us to florida literally to die um so the next morning we go to the supermarket bump into a police officer hey what happened on the street oh let me check do, 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 do. comes back <laughs> Ma'am, you know way behind you there's a farm. Yeah, the farm right before that leads to I-75. Yeah, a cow had gotten loose. <laughs> Murderous cow. <Yes>. Very dangerous. <laughs> Could you imagine all that drama and all the thoughts that were going through our mind that night? And all this commotion. I mean, we were waiting for SWAT to come up, okay? Yeah. yeah. We had we had we were not prepared. We're not gun people. We didn't have guns. We didn't have nothing in the house. We barely had a bat. We had just moved here. <laughs> Okay, we're like, we are dying. Literally, we're dying. There. And my dad wasn't even here. My dad wasn't even here. He was in New York. So we're like, we are dying. All this drama for a cow. <laughs> that was... That was amusement back in 1995 for you in Ocala. I, I, you you had nothing actually, else yeah. to do? Let's cross off the road. Yeah. Let's have the helicopter circling Let's for a cow. everybody because a cow got loose. Yeah. Now you see a cow on the side of the road. Hi, buddy. You might want to move before you get hit. Be or before SWAT comes. But no, that ain't happening no more. So that's my... But that's how you got your cow story. That's how I got my cow story. <laughs> so that's how I have, you know, everything is cow. Part of my logo yeah. is a cow. Because it's and the first impression why. of Ocala. Yeah. 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 I don't like cows. <laughs> I call it Mocala for Mucala. you. Mocala. Yeah, for me, it is Mocala. <laughs> and, and I tell the story and everybody's like, oh my God, I love your story. Listen, it really did happen. It really did happen. We really did want to go back to New York. We're like, because you don't see this stuff in New York. Yeah, you might see where, where we lived. No, it was a really good neighborhood. It was, yeah. you know, it's very clean and stuff like that. So the interpretation that people also have of New York City with the big rats and stuff. Yeah. Chinese well, people use that. Again, so it's fine. Also times, it's, you know. Yeah. yeah, the times are different. Yeah. So I'm like, the rats and stuff ain't, da, 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 you know, it's it's whatever. They, you know, if we eat it in Chinese food, that's, that's it's oh. whatever. <laughs> I don't even want to think about it. But at least where I was growing up, we didn't see it. Yeah. So to come again to to exp you know from somebody For growing you, up like in the, the city, of the jungle, yeah, yeah, to grow up in the city, that's all you knew since you were two years old. Because yeah. we moved to New York when I was two. All I knew was the city, the hustle and bustle. The you know the the every corner you either had like a, a jiffy store here. Yeah, there's or, just like constant like movement. Like there's yeah. always something going on. And then you come here, and everybody throws a fit for a cow. For a cow. <laughs> Um, okay, sure. <laughs> now there's Go not cows. that many cows in Ocala no, anymore. Because we got sadly, houses now. <laughs> but no, there's a lot. Yeah, we have restaurants and houses and you don't see cows too often nope. anymore. Nah, they ain't Roman free no more. No. <laughs> no. And we're not calling.
playing spot over cow. No, 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 no. We're just like, come on, buddy, move. Like, we'll honk the horn and, like, go. All right, go. 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 <laughs> yeah, be, go, go back. Go. Go be free in your farm. Go. You See, know? I didn't get any of those experiences because I moved here, like, two years ago. So, for me, it was, like, it wasn't even that bad. Right. Because, again, I moved from Miami, which, again, big city. City. So, same thing. We're city, yeah. we were city girls at yeah. first. Um, but, but you're much braver because I lived in Miami for two years and I cannot wait to get out. <laughs> I did college in Miami and I'm like, these people don't even use their blinkers. Like, they don't know what it is. Like, to turn. Like, Listen, right now every... people in Ocala are complaining about traffic and yes. I'm just like... Okay, Go bro. to Miami. <laughs> this is not traffic for me whatsoever. Even Orlando. Even the traffic in Orlando yeah, is Orlando's worse than Ocala. Bad, yeah, but I... I always say I, you know, I don't love the way they constructed the roads in in Orlando, no. and it's I know it's because it's a very swampy area. It is we're right. very high ground here in Ocala, which, oh, thank God, for we, we're that like not even in a flood zone. Like e exactly, but over there, um, like they have all these like winding roads. Like it's nonstop winding. I it it makes me dizzy. Right. And then you add in the traffic. And, and then you add in the bridges, no. though. No, no. Like no. the bridges yes. where yes. you're, like, coming off the turnpike. Like, you're going yes. 70, and then you got to take this bridge, and you got to, like, drop to 35 or 25. You're like, oh, my God. Like, and it's fast. It happens really yes. quick. The transition is very quick, yes. Yeah, yeah. And, I mean, everywhere in Florida, you know, there's a stereotype of Florida driver. <laughs> to say the first time i was like scouting ocala to see like okay is this where i want to move to and someone let me merge in i was like oh they're nice this is like narnia i i gotta say though you do have and i've seen a lot of cars here in ocala have you seen them where they're like blinker fluid or or you know this blinker turns to the left this one turns to the right you know, yeah, it's. Yeah. I mean, but again, Florida. You're still right. in Florida. In as a whole. Florida, as a yes. whole. Um, but, oh my God, it's just so much nicer here. Like, people do let you merge. Like, people here know how to zipper merge. Yes. People in Miami don't know how, they don't even know no. what that is. No. Okay. But I know we also <laughs> spoke, and we've spoken in the past about how people here are so nice. People here are so nice. Like, mm -hmm. one of the first experiences that I've had um, was just literally walking into a Walmart, and then um, the person was so nice to me, and it's. You know, Andrea, our broker, makes fun of me because she's like, Allie, like, you're so simple. Like, you, you expect, like, you know, like, such simple things and you think they're amazing. And I'm like, well, look at where I come from. Like, right. usually people are so, it's one of the rudest cities. Right, Miami right. is one of the rudest cities. And so when I came to Ocala at first, I was like, oh, my God, people here are so nice. Like, the lady who was like, hi, I'm looking for this. She was like, oh, honey, don't worry. Listen, go to this row. It's right over here. They'll even take you sometimes yeah. to the product. At least they say hi. I mean, yeah. just welcoming you into the store. Welcome. You know, yeah. come in. They, they take the time. Mm -hmm. They really do. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a very positive uh, and different atmosphere than what Correct. I was raised in at first. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Completely different. Um, but I didn't find it um, like a small town. Like there's like the downtown is right there. Mm -hmm. Marion County is huge. Well, everybody, I tell everybody when they ask me for directions, I'm like, where are you coming from? And they're like, I'm coming from here to here. Oh, it's 10 minutes. I mean, it's really not 10 minutes. It can be 15 to 20. But everything is so close. Yes. Even though Marion County is so huge. huge. But everything is so close. It seems like you'd get from point A to point B in like 10, 15 minutes. Yes. Yeah, that, that was my thing, too. Yeah. When I moved up here, I was like, oh, my God. Like, it, technically, it, if you look at the distance, right. it's technically far. But if you look at the time to get there, it's just so quick. It's like quick, quick. Yeah. yeah it's amazing. Yeah. Um, and in Miami, it's actually the complete opposite. Mm -hmm. um, so it's South Florida, pretty much. Right. It's, um, you might be, like, literally right across the street. But because of the traffic, you're going to be waiting like at least 20 minutes. 20 to get minutes there. just to get through. It's, it's yeah. ridiculous. Yep. So that's one of the things that I found out when I moved up here. And I, I loved it. I loved it so much the fact that everything is close by and there are stuff to do. Like there's always events happening. There's, um, we have the, uh, the WEC, the World Equestrian Center, yes. which so many things going on right now. Comic Con is going on right, um, right there. And they have like different shows. They do different events. The car events. shows are the best. But you told me. The yeah. car shows I are the best. I haven't seen one. I haven't seen one of the. Yeah. Uh, you have to go. You have to go to the car shows. Yeah. They're the best. But it, it just, I mean, you, you pay a little bit, some of the entrance fees, but some are free. I mean, like, you it just is free go to get any in there. Yeah. The, yeah, it's and free to get in there. Free. Parking is free. You get in there for free. Go and watch the horses jump. Yeah. Like, it's just, oh, it, there's always something had, to they do. They had a Paso Fino event that I went to. Oh, it was those gorgeous. are gorgeous. Oh, gosh, yes. Yeah. And again, if you're an animal person, by the way, you can take your dog to the WEC. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 There's like yeah. good, good it's little, pet friendly. It's pet friendly. It's, yeah. It's great. It's great. Yeah. It's child friendly, pet friendly. <laughs> All of the above. <laughs> Pretty much. All of the above. But yeah, that was one of my first experiences. People are so nice here. 
Yeah, they are yeah. phenomenal. Everybody's so sweet. Yeah. So, how did you get into real estate? So, I actually worked for a I, real estate found me. I did not find real estate. Okay. That's the honest truth. I ended up working for a developer uh, down in South Florida, Miami. Uh, great, great. I'm going to actually shout them out and say uh, CC Homes. Okay. So, they are amazing. They build very good homes. Um, but I had to get out of Miami. I could not live there anymore. I really started to hate it. I, it became like a almost like an everyday kind of like heavy weight on me. And I started deciding whether, where, where was it gonna move? I even considered Jacksonville. I considered Orlando, but that was out of the question. Um, and I chose Ocala. I found that it was going to be uh, with statistics and mm -hmm. uh, through experience, it's gonna be the most stable place. Um, here, prices have gone up a bit. They have come down a bit actually now. Right, they went up forever and now they're stabilizing. And now they're stabilized. Mm -hmm. Well, other places in Florida have not stabilized yet. Mm -mm. Yeah, or are seeing harder times. Like 90% of my buyers, I, I tell them, what brings you to Ocala? Oh, the prices of your homes. Yeah. I can get a brand new construction home here for less than 300. And I'll buy nice that homes. same home like somewhere else homes. for like five, 600,000. I'm like, oh, okay. Big time. Uh, and also just, uh, I, and I was talking to Andrea on the radio show that she does um, about jobs. So mm -hmm. right now Florida has been lacking in, in, in jobs. A lot of companies closed down and everything, but other demands have gone up. And the schools here are amazing. Yeah. They're amazing, you guys. Um, and Elati knows so much about this. She has three kids mm -hmm. raised here in Ocala. Yep. Um, so they, she's seen it all. She's seen all yep. the schools. All the schools. <laughs> I've all been to programs. every single one, uh, every program I can where's tell your you. Son, where's your son right now? My son is in FSU, my oldest. My oldest is a college student. Yeah. He's working on his bachelor's in criminology, and then he's going to law school. Um, but he's only 19 years old. And a lot of the schools here have, and, and a lot of people don't understand this, they have a great program called Dual Enrollment. Yeah, it's amazing. Where you get a free associates before you graduate high school. So he, he took advantage of that. So yeah, he got a free AA and he's working on his bachelor's and now. You don't pay for that. People don't understand. You know how much books are for college? Mm -hmm. Like imagine just- Oh, I know I started paying now that he's at FSU. <laughs> now, now he's you at know, Florida State. Now you know the pain. Oh my God. And I'm like, and I'm like, how much I gotta pay this semester? It's great. We have such yeah. good schools here, such good programs. And um, also the college is great too. Yeah. And we're in need of actually electricians and mechanics, you guys. We're, we're well, sure. I mean, we, I mean everything. and. Just as a whole, like you yes. said, the stability is here. There's yeah. so much work. I hate when people complain I can't get a job. No, honey, no. the job's not going to come and knock on your door. You Let's gotta be go real. And, and, and you, gotta you need go to develop it. the skills to actually yes. get whatever job you really want. Correct. Um, I do think here, too, it's so great if you want to build a business here. The they land, and they have so many programs, so that's the thing. But the ban is still economic yes. here. So if you want to like open a restaurant, a salon. Mm -hmm. well, I was just talking um, about it earlier where, you know how many new salons and barbers have opened up in Ocala? I don't know, but I know there's a oh lot. Oh my God, there's so much money. I know there's, there's a so lot. Great. There's yeah. It, it's, it's, it's actually changed even since I moved up here. Right, it's, I have a friend that owns one. Yeah, And that's okay. forever who my boys used to go to. Um, and, 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 and you know, just through the years, everything, because with our busy schedules, so as realtors, you guys, we don't have an eight to five job. We don't have an eight to yeah. four. The same as seven to three, like we don't have set hours. A lot of people don't realize that whether, um, I mean, we do have flexibility in our time, but it's all the time. Mm -hmm. Like it's just how it is. So, like, I mean, my I phone get, doesn't leave my side. No, right yeah. now I have my phone on do not disturb. Yeah, just to be able, too. because to I be bet here. you, the minute oh, I turn as soon it as on, we get out of here. it's like 30 <laughs> as phone soon calls. As we get out of yeah. here, yeah. So no. with that demand, I mean, sometimes you just gotta, accommodate yeah. you know because again realtors is not an eight to five job by the way that we will get back to you though if you do call us um mm -hmm. as soon as we get out of here we check our phones and we'll get back to everybody yeah so just know uh if you're ever calling a real estate agent and they don't answer they're probably doing <laughs> showings because i have a lot of you know it, we both do property management as well yeah. so you know our owners are always calling us hey what's going on with this and what and we can't always answer because we're doing showings. Correct. So we do, and, and at the end of you know every episode and at the end of the videos, we're gonna go ahead and put out our all of our all information. information. So if you guys have any questions, listen, no no questions, a stupid question, nothing <laughs> silly. If any questions you guys have, go ahead and reach out to one of us, yeah. and we'll be more than happy. And if we don't know the answer, we're gonna get the answer for yeah. you. So I, I always like to say that too. It's like mm -hmm. if I don't know, I'm gonna find out for you. Right. So you're gonna have our information, so you can reach yeah. out. So I mean, we're pretty we're pretty knowledgeable with everything and here in Ocala. Yeah, yes. you know, we have a great team. We yes. really do. Like, uh, we do. Great Expectations Realty just has really good real estate agents. We do. Yeah. 
we all help each other out. If we have questions, we call one another. Yeah. Um, again, if we're doing showings, we're kind of texting right there and by the buyers. We're like, thing hey, too. we'll call you right back, you know? Um, yeah. That, that's an Ocala thing, too, because, like, we don't treat each other like competition. I mean, you and me are in the same boat, yeah. and we're doing the same show. Correct. So, And we're both agents. Yeah. And we're both property yeah. managers. So we're just here to help each other out. And, and help you guys out, too, because yeah. I know... A lot of things are not uh, out in public and um, you guys are not able to like hop on our real estate website and see the market and, and see how things are changing and why they're changing and they're not getting explained to the public right they're not so we have a lot of people that are like yeah. well why why this why that why has the rent gone up right. why um, how come this house now costs like you know 20k more than it did five years ago mm -hmm. so it's Different. Well, we're definitely gonna get daily. the answers. Oh, yeah. oh, daily for real, like every day, like the amount of homes yeah. on the market, the amount of homes sold, and it's just it's it's crazy, but it's a good field. It's a good to thing. Be in. Yeah, yeah, it's a good thing. It's definitely a good field to yeah. be in. I got started into real estate a little bit over six years ago. Um, my husband owns a painting handyman business, and he was the one that actually started working for Andrea, our broker. And forever, you know, she'd be like, I think you'd be a good agent. Because I'm a people person. You are a people person. I'm a, I'm a people person. So I'm always out there talking. I'm always networking. I'm always like, hey, Again, how are everybody you? knows her. Yes. <laughs> so, you know, she kept on telling me. And I was like, no, I'm focusing on being a mom. Because, again, I have three, one of which is in the spectrum. So I was always focused on being a mom. Yeah. And um, as it got bigger, I said, you know what? I, I need to focus on me. And I need to focus on doing what's best for me because that's only going to do what's best for them. Yeah, I'm making that's that, how that I'm family, able to yeah. provide for yeah. them is by also helping my husband. Correct. You know, so that's how I got started into real estate. And I tell you, I love it. I wouldn't change it. I know you do. You yeah. do. Yeah. I, I, I really do. I see it. I see it all the time, especially when you're like uh, doing showings or talking to clients. I I see that you love it, which right. is. It's nice. Right. It's very nice because you know, there's nothing mm -hmm. worse than like uh, doing a job you hate. <laughs> and, and you can't just do the job for the money either though. You can't. I see, I put myself in those people's positions you all do. the time. I'm like, it's such a big investment. Yeah. yeah. Would I want more commission over selling this $500,000 house? Absolutely. Yeah. But could they financially, you know, a, oh, yeah. a family with six kids and could they financially afford this? And Why don't we check this one out? That's, you know, so we're always oh, yeah. looking at their best interests as well. For owners too. So... You know, as a property manager, I can just be like, oh, yeah, yeah, keep on renting your house. Right. But if I see a possibility of an owner making more profit on, for example, selling that mm -hmm. home, I'm going to tell you the information that's going to help you the best. Right. Because that's my job. Correct. That's, that's literally what I got the license for. Correct. You know? And, and vice versa, because I just yes. had this conversation with one of my guys last night, actually. Um, he has it in property management. I manage the home for him. He's been wanting to sell. So I did put the house on the market, but he bought during COVID, which means what? So he's going to lose money. He's going to lose money. So we tried putting the house on the market for about four months. And, and I said, happen. it's not going anywhere. No, you're going to have to lower but the price, but exactly. you're going to be losing money. But there's also a tenant in place, and okay. the tenant loves the house, and the tenant takes care of the house, and that tenant is never late. And it's, it's just an asset. I tell people all the time, a house is a bank for you. Yeah. A house is just a bank yeah. for you. So I spoke to him and he decided, you know what, let's, you're right. Go ahead and take it off the market. I'm going to make more money now, yeah. you know, with the, with the and rent. find the right opportunity to sell. Correct. I said, when the really timing matters. is right, that's when it's going to happen for oh, you. Yeah. I said, so just go ahead and, you know, let's just go ahead and keep the tenant in place. Again, he loves the home. If it was somebody that's not taking care of the home, that would be a different situation. Yeah. But this tenant has made it homey. Yeah. It's his home. You know, so I says, and and he's again, and he's getting the house paid for, which is again Correct. a good investment. Yep. So that again, we're here just to guide our listeners. Yeah. You know, and and to and help you with and help you, know, you. Not only your questions, but if you do uh, have like almost like an idea that you want to do, but you're not sure if you want to do it, then bypass it. It's kind of the same thing when you mm -hmm. when you have like accounting issues, you take it with yeah. accountant. Same thing with real estate. Right. Right. So that's, and, and again, that's what we're here for. We're yeah. here to help. A lot of people, a lot of sellers don't like to use agents because they don't want to pay commission. But at the same time, first of all, who's doing your marketing? Who, how, how are you checking who's actually going in your home? How do you know it's safe to let somebody in? And how are you like, not going to lose, the most important thing, how are you not going to lose money? Exactly. Because 
we study the market on the daily. Yeah. On the daily. Yep. We know exactly what your house can possibly go for. Yeah. And we're going to try to get it for that money. Exactly. Like, why would, why would you take a 30K less? Yeah. Because, you know, some houses for sale by owners, they don't know the market. Sell, usually sell they, their they houses sell 20K under, lower. Yeah. Because they least. don't know the market. Oh, yeah. So, it's always good to use an agent. So, again, that that's what we want to focus on here is to help you guys give you guys the information that we know the knowledge that we have and teach you about ocala it correct so that that's again that's what we're focusing on on our podcast and our videos is to go ahead and you know again if you guys have any questions let us know we're here to help so you ready to say goodbye to our audience yes so right. again home sweet home ocala here Thank you. Again, my name is Eladi Fonseca. We're going to have our information listed below as well in case you want to contact us or anything like that. And again, my name is Ali Pena from Great Expectations Realty here in Ocala, Florida. Bye, guys. Bye.